Let's talk about doublets. What's a doublet? It's a pair of words that have the same root in the same language, but that have different historical journeys. You can think of it like a twin. They have the same root, which is the origin of the parents, but they can grow apart as time goes on, but they still have those parents. But before we do that, let's think about native words and loan words. What's the difference? A native word is a word inherited or passed down from Old English. But a loan word is any word that was borrowed since English was born, which is after Old English. Loan words tend to be more complex and technical than their native synonyms, like leave and depart, speed and velocity, light illumination, and clothes and garments. But let's go back to doublets. Doublets share the same root, but have different histories. But they have similar meanings because they share that same root. Here's an example. Shirt and skirt, they look quite similar. They were once the same word, they have the same root. Both were Germanic, but one was Old English and native, and the other was Old Norse and borrowed. But which is native and which is borrowed? Well, we can start off with this word, which was the origin word of shirt and skirt. It was Proto-Germanic, but then it broke off after the Anglo-Saxon invasion, and English kept one word, but there was a sound change. The SK turns into an ESH, but in Old Norse, they kept that SK. And after the Dane law, English now had shirt, but they borrowed the Old Norse version and got skirt. So now they have two words from that same original word. So that sound change of SK to ESH shows that many English words that begin in SK are actually loan words from Old Norse because the sound change didn't affect them. English vocabulary is very rich and diverse, and a result are doublets. And these doublets are typically in pairs. Doublets can evolve into unrecognizable pairs due to phonetic changes and orthographic changes, both of which occur separately in each different pair with its different historical path as shirt and skirt are a doublet pair, but there was a phonetic change. Here are some English doublet examples. There are phonetic changes that affected garth and yard. They have the same root. Another one that affected hail, hole, nay, and no have the same root. And then another one that affected kissed and chest, and again have the same root. There is much more detail to go into and many more languages to discover doublets in. But that would just go on for too long. But thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new today.